It does no good to argue with those who think there is no God. The message of the cross doesn't make sense to those who are perishing. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we do so at the risk of seeming foolish to those in this world who value their education and their perspective more than God's perspective. They often dismiss people who walk by faith and not by sight as just deplorables and uneducated fools. 1 Corinthians 1.18, For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians 2.14, the natural person does not, does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Proverbs 28.26, whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. 1 Corinthians 1.25, the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the, the wisdom of God is stronger than man. Psalm 118.8, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. In other words, the world's perspective and God's perspective clash often. Those whose God is their education or science use this carnal mind to understand the things of this world. Romans 8.7 says, the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. The defenders of this world and its ways are doomed to fail. Why? This world is ruled by the father of all lies, Satan. John 8, 42 through 43. If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come I have come here from God. Because you're unable to hear what I say, Jesus said, you belong to your father, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. He is a liar and the father of lies. Satan takes truth and warps it. Just look at what he tried with Jesus in the beginning of his ministry. He told Jesus that he's some half-truths, hoping to get Jesus to take the bait. Jesus defeated Satan with God's word, the truth. Satan is doing the same thing with the world, feeding them half-truths, hoping to deceive them into an eternal death as they follow human reasoning and refuse faith in their everlasting Father God. There can be no compromise. We're to die to our carnal self because this world's morals have no place in Christ. God's moral laws are based on truth and have stood the test of time. Words of encouragement, Proverbs 1, 7. A fool despises true wisdom and instruction. Psalm 14, 1. Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Proverbs 29, 9. There is no use in arguing with a fool who only rages and... Um, tempers flare. Second Timothy 2, 23 through 26, stay away from foolish and, st and stupid arguments. As a servant of the Lord, you must not argue. Luke six thirty five. love your enemies, do good to them. Have a great day.